Hi, I'm Matt from ePipe Mods, and today we're going to talk about somebody else's pipe. This is the Jazz Cardo Pipe from the JazzCardoPipe.com. Uh, me and Romaniac are really good friends. Got a chance to meet him in Vegas at the uh, Vape Fest, and uh, just love his work. And we swapped some pipes then, and uh, gotten a few more since then. And uh, I just I love this pipe. Uh, if you're looking for a more traditional looking pipe, uh, something a little less space age than the stuff that I make, uh, check out the jazzcardopipe.com. Uh, you'll find some just fantastic looking pipes. Not all of them have this tank on the end, uh, but the tank is actually what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. Uh, this tank is uh, the Jazz Cardo tank, and we have purchased some from Romaniac, and we're going to put them on. We already have them on our site, but I'm going to show you how, to, how it works, how to fill it. Uh, and I'm also going to show you how it works on the Jazz. So let's check it out. Alright, so here it is all put together. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart for you. Now on the Jazz, the cardamizer actually goes down inside of the shank and is hidden. And this mouse, mouthpiece right here can cover the cardo and you can just have basically this mouthpiece coming off of the end, sort of like that. Uh, but when you use the tank, uh, there's specific um, extenders that would be specific to your pipe because all of these are handmade. Um, they need to be cut exactly right for the size of your pipe. So you've got your extender that screws onto the cardo, and you've also got this little Del Delrin retainer here. Now, the reason for the Delrin retainer is that when you put your cardo into the tank and then this on there and then thread all of that into here the Delrin retainer is going to keep the the uh, the tank from wobbling back and forth it kind of keeps everything centered and gives you a nice tight finish where it, it doesn't wobble so that's the story behind the extender there. I'm going to take this out and show you the Cardo. Now the Cardos you get from Smoke Tech have a very very small little hole in them and there are a number of different ways to uh, puncture or drill out or even use a cutting wheel on a Dremel to make a bigger hole for your liquid. Uh, basically this little hole that comes pre-done into the cardo isn't going to be big enough to wick fluid so you're going to want to make a bigger hole and I will show you how to do that here in a minute um, and then you have your tank and the cool thing about this tank is once you put your cardo in here and you get it all put together uh, you want to put a little juice in your cardo and stick it in the tank and Basically, you don't have to take that cardo out again until you're ready to replace the cardo and clean the tank. Um, all you have to do to fill it is take this little center plug out around that rubber grommet and use a syringe or a dripper tank to fill and then just replace this little rubber grommet and you're good to go. And the reason this is such a cool design is because one of the main reasons why tanks tend to leak and uh, get funky when you fill them uh, is because you're constantly removing the caps and putting pressure on the o-rings and tearing up the o-rings the internal and external o-rings on these and because you don't have to remove the caps anymore to fill you just take out this little center pin to fill it uh, you're, you're saving your o-rings and uh, it's less likely to leak now another thing that I've got on here that I wanted to mention before I go and show you how to cut a cardo is this softy tip here. Um, I just showed these to Romaniac last night over the phone. I sent him a link to them. I think he might be carrying them. I'm not sure, but we'll have them on the sh site shortly. They come looking like that. These little round things with a flared end on them. Now the flared end is what's going to go over the bit and it looks a little small for this, but if you, oh, they're a little hard to get on, but you kind of got to stretch them over the mouthpiece and work them back. And the reason for these is if you're a biter, this will keep 
this will be a nice squishy thing for your teeth so you're not having to go to the dentist and get braces and it also keeps the teeth marks off of your nice pipe stem so for the tanks we'll be sending out a nice softy for these stems and we'll also have them separately available on the site for your Peterson Church Warden or uh, whatever stem really with it we carry this softy is going to fit on and all right so that's the jazz cardo tank now let me show you uh, how to do the cuts on some nice fresh cardos Good. all right so I'm going to show you the uh, one best way that I've found to cut these cardos um, using a carbide cutting tool on a Dremel and um, you leave the hole on this side alone and you flip it over and cut a hole directly on the other side of that. Now a hole about that size is all you're really going to need for my liquids. If it's a thicker juice or a thinner juice, uh, the hole may need to be bigger if it's thicker or thinner, or I'm sorry, smaller if it's thinner juice. Um, if your hole is too big for your juice, your cardo will leak uh, and it'll leak from the bottom. So uh, you may have to toy around with finding the right size uh, hole for your cardo in order to make it work. Now, puncturing and drilling uh, is a little bit more difficult. Uh, puncturing is pretty easy, but uh, I've been talking to Romaniac about puncturing and it kind of warps the outside of the uh, the cardo and it can actually make the uh, the cardo leak inside the tank because it's not seating up against the o-rings properly so this is the best method that I found um, Romaniac also said that you could use a 2.5 millimeter drill bit and do it that way um, I don't have any that will cut into steel stainless steel right now so I just thought I'd show this now we have our cardo all cut and ready to fill. I'm going to put the Jazz Cardo tank on one of my pipes. This is a bench shank mean pipe in Bicote. Uh It has an Icon Vape uh, cannon at 1.8 ohm and I've got a cut cone that I've ground down because these are a little leaky but they are a awesome awesome atomizer. So in order to keep it from leaking on the pipe I use the uh, cut cone here. We'll go ahead and take this setup off. And first, what we're going to do is put the Bell style Ego thread cover on here. We have four different styles of these currently on the site. We might get some more in the future. Uh, this is just one of them. It just dresses out the threads and it will make a nice seamless uh, mate to the, to the tank there. But first, Let's go ahead and take the cap off of the cardo and we're going to fill the cardo. I need a paper towel here. You will probably need a syringe or a syringe style fill, fill bottle in order to uh, fill your, your jazz cardo tank. And go ahead and draw a little over about three and a half mil into the syringe and I'm going to put the syringe needle down the side of the cardo and go ahead and just fill the cardo up pretty good get it nice and saturated and ready for the tank now that cardo held a fair amount of that liquid so I'm going to go ahead and Fill it up with a little bit more, get about three mil in there, and that I'll set aside for the Cardo tank. Now, this one, uh, after about a week, these get trashed, so you'll need to throw it away, uh, clean out your tank, which I've already done, and then you insert your new Cardo into the tank. Make sure it's seated. There are two little flat spots that seat with the flange at the bottom of the Cardo. Take your little fill 
plug out and hold it horizontally and just go ahead and inject your juice into the tank. Now that's a full 3.5 mils and there's still room left in that tank so your tank will probably hold about 4 mils and maybe even 5 uh, if you include what goes into the cardo. So put the plug back on there and it's nice and sealed ready to go. So we'll thread our Jazz Cardo tank onto the V2 pipe. Get it nice and seated. And there you go. Jazz Cardo tank on an E-pipe mod. So there you have it folks. The Jazz Cardo pipe and E-pipe mods working together and uh, I'm very happy to be carrying the Jazz Cardo tank, so swing by ePipe Mods and check it out. It's a great little device.